Technology can be used in several ways to improve the remittance process. And um, first of all, technology can be used to decrease cost because the remittance process sometimes is inefficient. And for example, we could use technology to um, do remote registration. So this would save time for the person to travel to do registration as well as uh, using technology is not having a person. So this is uh, way cheaper. Also technology can be used in the funding and the whole transfer of remittances, of which again could be cheaper because the traditional methods are quite expensive and take time. For example, bringing and developing your own network, distribution network is, is quite expensive and that's what traditional MTOs do. Uh, however, it's quite important that migrants and the remittance receivers are banked. Because if they're not banked, they cannot take advantage of uh, certain remittance services. Uh, and uh, it's, it's not very easy to bank them, so we need to develop certain products and help them access them. Also, uh, once they're banked, then they can access more advanced financial services, such as savings, insurance, and uh, loans as well, and thus making the remittance is more, more productive, which could also impact the economy as a whole. But again, it's, it's very important to foster um, remittances and, and the use of um, advanced digital remittance instruments. And how, how we can do that? Well, that's, it's not very easy. It could be quite difficult, but there are sev several things we can focus on. As I mentioned earlier, financial inclusion, trying to help uh, migrants and uh, remittance receivers access financial services, also connectivity in terms of mobile phone connectivity and internet connectivity, because if you don't have internet or, or phone connection, then it's quite difficult to use uh, technology and uh, in terms of digital technology, then also education, migrants and remittance receivers not necessarily always know what their options are. so educating them about what their remitting saving, sending options are, what, uh, what financial needs they have and how they can satisfy them, and also how to use technology because sometimes people don't necessarily feel comfortable using a mobile phone uh, to carry out a transaction. And also a national ID system could be quite helpful in terms of, of KYC because certain individuals don't have a, um, an ID so they cannot get a bank account or another financial account to, re to receive or send remittances, which leads them to use informal channels. And, and lastly um, is cooperation. We, sh we, we should work together. Banks should work together and um, financial institutions, international organizations, governments try, um, try to cooperate.